Good morning. It is November 3rd, 2021. I hope everybody's doing okay. So, this is just going to be an open talk basically about a little bit of everything. Like, I'd normally do that sometimes. Um, so, in, okay, because I am a TI, they keep me away from all my friends and family. If I talk to anybody, they listen to me on the phone. Um, they put, my phone is very hacked. I can't even, like... When I'm on a website, let's just say I'm on a normal website shopping at the one of the big box stores and I'm just looking at things. Every time I scroll down, somebody scrolls back up to the top. And when I click on the button, it takes me like 10 times to click on it before it goes through. Um, I can change my password and immediately they go in there and change it again and I have to reset it again it, it's constant and then they got what they call the dumb program on my phone so what that is is anytime that you type anything they make sure that when you're typing and I noticed this that there's like a space between some a big space between some of the words so that way they can go back in and insert words take out words um, and they also misspell words. They'll go back in and while you're typing misspell stuff. Um, I've looked it over, like something I'm typing on a website, I looked it over like 10 times and then when I post it and I go back the next day, there's misspellings in the typing. So the fo that's what they call dumb software. So it makes you look dumb. Everything you type is incorrect misspelled missing words words in the wrong places um this is a known tactic in case you don't know if you're having that trouble that's what it is your phone's hacked um they also have key loggers on your phone that logs everything that you type they can see all your emails all your all everything even stuff you deleted they can see it and i always know like when you get sometimes you'll get a software update and all your software will be up to date because we know nowadays the phone companies and the people that make the cell phones um they don't do too many software updates just a few because they want you to buy a new phone in like another year or two if they keep giving you software updates then you won't buy a new phone and they don't want that so we all know um so these hackers are behind the times. That means they're old because if they weren't old, they would know this. You can't like they like they always have you say, "Oh, your your um, software needs an update." I just updated mine, and I turned on my phone the other day, and I had a software update, and I checked it, and there was no updates for my phone. And it's usually that little Android man. That's how you know that. It's not a real, and I've heard, a real software update. I've heard other TIs talk about this too. I'm not the only one that's talked about this. Um, there is no software update for my phone. It was completely up to date. And now, since it did this automatic where I couldn't stop it update, which this has happened to almost every phone that I've had, every single phone, um, it's hacked. Um, so I couldn't stop the update there was no way to stop it too so now my phone is even worse um, and I noticed when the update came through it says updating 600 and something apps I don't have 600 and something apps the reason why it says 600 I only have like 30 apps maybe 40 apps the reason why it says that is because the phone's mirrored four or five times. So there's four or five people looking at my phone at the same time I am all the time. And that's why I'm having trouble like clicking on the buttons and doing all that because it slows your phone down when so many people are, are watching everything you do and um, are mirrored on your phone. So that's what's happening there. So I just wanted to talk about that. Just the technology that they're doing. 
but everybody knows now you know that used to work back in the day when they used to do those updates and you think it would be a real update but now the phone companies don't update the phone maker manufacturers don't update your um, software very often because they want you to buy new phones so that that's bogus you know right away that's bogus if that's happening I mean you might get one update right after you purchase the phone you might get a software update then but you're not going to um, keep getting updates a year later or two years later I mean it's possible but it's the odds are very very slim or next to nothing because the manufacturers have learned that if you don't get the software updates eventually you're gonna go buy a new phone so I guess the hackers the old hackers need to get back on the on the program um, also too, all they need is your phone number to hack your phone they don't need anything else um, they don't need to touch your phone. In my case, they do because they come in at night. I'm waking up with scratches all over my back all the time, constantly. And two days ago, I, work, I woke up with a burn on my neck, and it's still there. A burn on my neck. I woke up with that. They come into my bedroom at night. Don't tell me to get cameras and all that. I've done all that. Don't you think after 20 years I've done that? See, I'm a whistleblower, so to speak, and so they're they're going to put more effort into harassing me because it's a retaliation, paid harassment. So I'm getting more than most people would on the on that scale. Like they literally pick my underwear apart. I bought like six new pair of underwear, and they literally pick the seams out of it, all of them. They do that to everything I own. They don't want me to have anything nice. As a matter of fact, one of the ladies from my hometown straight up told me that. The reason why all this is happening to you is because you filed that lawsuit and you ain't going to have anything nice ever. We're not gonna, they're not going to let you. Ever. And she also went on to say that I'm glad I'm not you. She said you aren't going to have anything nice ever, ever, ever. And that seems to be the case. That's what's happened over the last years and years and years that I've been dealing with this. Yeah, pretty much that's what's happening. So I haven't been, and, and I ordered something recently for myself. Most years at Christmas, I don't get anything for Christmas once in a while I might get something small like a coffee cup or something from somebody but I never get anything I don't even put up a tree anymore I don't do all that and I used to love Christmas but I don't care anymore I don't do it I'm done with that because whatever I get they're gonna tear up anyways but recently I bought something that is important to me and I bought it online and it was a hard to get item and as soon as I bought it, I knew I would never get it. Because one of the stores it's coming from is one of the biggest perper, perps uh, for TIs in all time. It's the worst store you can go into. I knew I would never get it. I knew that something would happen. As soon as I placed the order, I knew I would never get it. I don't even know why I did it, because I knew I would never get it. Um, and sure enough, like it was stood in the order place status for a long time and then after that it went to delayed and that's where it's going to sit i won't get it and just like um also too um one other thing too that's happened is um i had a medical issue and I went to a lot of different doctors trying to get it resolved. And in the end, I my insurance paid out all this money. I paid out my part of it. And still, I'm still the same way. No medicine, no nothing as when I went there. I'm still in the same situation, having health issues before all the doctors. So basically, they did nothing to help me. All the doctors I see and they did nothing to help me and they lied about my blood work too because they said oh it came back normal that's not true because I had my blood drawn somewhere else and I know what the readings were of that blood draw so that's incorrect it's not right they're lying 
Um, I already know my hormones are off from my thyroid. That's what it is, thyroid issues, and I already know. So they're lying to me. And they did nothing, nothing to help me, nothing. I'm in the same situation I was before I went to all that and spent all the money. That's the thing. They don't help TIs ever. So, same situation. As I was in the beginning. So I just wanted to put that out there. And also, too, while I'm complaining about all this, well, not complaining, but mentioning it for the record, um, w one of the things I went to was, in the beginning, when, um, I went to get an ultrasound. And when I was at this ultrasound, they made me pay up front. And I tried telling them that I don't need to pay up front. My insurance will cover it. And they wouldn't accept that. They made me pay, like, $143. Well, come to find out, I was right. My insurance paid the whole bill, but they won't give my money back. I've called, called, called. I've called them. I've, my insurance have called them. Oh, yeah, we're going to send it. We're going to send it through the mail. Something's wrong with our computer. It won't process it right now. I've called twice. I'm going to start recording these. The next time I call them, I'm, it's going to be recorded, and I'm going to tell them. I'm going to call them soon, and when I do, and, um, and it's Simon Med. They won't give me my money back, ever. Like, I've, my insurance is called. I've called. It's been over two months now or more, and they still have yet to give my money back to me. Isn't that against the law? Don't they? If somebody has your money, don't they have to give it back to you? But that's because um, my lawsuit was against the uh, medical team, and that's why I'm not getting my money back from them. It's harassment is what it is. It's harassment. I'm being harassed, and they're keeping my money, and that's illegal. They owe me that money, and they should have cut a check to me already. That's illegal. It's harassment. I think their main billing office is here in the same city and state I'm in so that's why I'm being harassed for the it's just part of the harassment let's see other than that all we can do is hope and pray I'm a Christian so I pray all the time they can't stop take that away from me peace and love